So the, the feature for the night, the feature for the night, what can I say about this gentleman? Um, CB, uh, his, his heart is amazing. Um, he's from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland Browns? Yes. Cleveland Browns? Yeah, yeah he's from oh. Cleveland Browns. My bad. Like <laughs> My bad. No, um, I'm sorry. CB, is, he's, he's, a, he's a crazy, crazy, crazy dope poet. Uh, his style, I swear to God, every time I go somewhere with this dude, men, women, little kids, infant babies with tattooed teardrops on their eyes, they're always complimenting him on his shoe game. Like his shoe game is crazy. And he always wanted this fly stuff. He's, an, he's a poet, more importantly, he's a musician first. Uh, had the pleasure of doing random creation sessions and jam band sessions and allowed me and Swan to be on this album. Don't start stumping, start stumping, start stumping. I like that jacket. for being delusional, self-absorbed egomaniacs. Yeah. <laughs> truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, <laughs> it is the gratification we receive from you that gives us a reason to get out of bed. And, right. mm -hmm. But why are you here? Are you also an artist yearning to attain those same accolades? You have to remind yourself you're still breathing. To remind yourself of the moments that give birth to electricity, enabling hairs to stand on end, defying gravity, bending laws of nature. To remind yourself that incredible things are possible. Are you here to hear horror stories? Putting your own so-called calamities into context? Because no matter how bad you think your situation might be, there's always someone who has it worse. So don't get it twisted. Happiness is a choice, not a product of circumstance. Yeah. Perhaps you're here to remind yourself you're not alone, that we are all part of this collective consciousness, that we all live, love, breathe, bleed, hurt, hate, an entire spectrum of emotion. And no matter your god or devil, we've all run the gamut at times. So upon entering, be sure to check your halos at the door. Oh, oh, sit here and try to mesmerize you with metaphors. Instead, I'd rather talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand. This is an opportunity, a privilege. It's a chance to disregard our various ethnicities, backgrounds, and beliefs, and realize that deep down we all face the same struggle. We all have the same hopes, the same desires. We all have a voice. In this day and age of mass communication and electronic accompaniment, it's easy to get lost amongst the noise. Once you strip away the wardrobe, the flesh, the facade, and get down to the bare bone essentials, at our core, we are all a voice. And all we want is to be heard. How are you feeling for Richard? Woo! 